Students, now let's discuss the neighboring countries of India. Pakistan and Afghanistan are on the northwest. When we come to the north, we have Nepal, China and Bhutan to the north. And then we when we come to east, we have Bangladesh and Myanmar. Now when we go to the south, east, we have Sri Lanka. How are the land of India and Sri Lanka separated? They are separated by a strait called the Park Strait and the Gulf of Manar. Students, do you all know what is a strait? A strait is a narrow strip of water between two land masses. So there is this narrow strip of water between the land of India and Sri Lanka. It's called Park Strait. And there is a water body called the Gulf of Manar. Now let's discuss administrative divisions of India. India is a democratic republic. What is the meaning of democracy? Yes, it's a government of the people, by the people, for the people. What is the meaning of a republic? A republic is a country where the president is elected and is not a monarchy or a king. Keeping in views of these values of our country, for administrative reasons, India has been divided into 29 states. In your textbook, it says 28 states as it has not been updated. And we have 8 union territories. Your textbook says 7, which also includes the national capital territory of New Delhi. Which is the newest state? Telangana. It was made by separating Andhra Pradesh into two different states. Which is the largest state? Rajasthan. And which is the smallest? Goa. Now, we come to the last part of the chapter. What are the important lines and boundaries of India? We have three lines. The Durand line, the McMohan line and the Radcliffe line. The Radcliffe line is the line that was drawn at the time of partition. It separates India and Pakistan. At the time of independence, Pakistan was one country in two parts. This was called West Pakistan. This was called East Pakistan. However, later East Pakistan became an independent country called the Bangladesh. The McMohan line separates India and China and it's situated in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. Lastly, we have the Rand line. Before independence, Pakistan, India was one country. So, the line that separates Afghanistan and Pakistan or the undivided India and Afghanistan is called the Durand line. That's all students. Now let's solve the question answers from the back of the textbook. Fill in the blanks. The total area of India, I can tell you all the first two digits, 3, 2. You got it right. 32,87,263 square kilometers. Next, the country of the, to the southeast of India is, who is in the southeast? I can give you all some hints. It is separated from India by the Park Strait and Gulf of Manar. Got it right, it's Sri Lanka. Next question, the dash latitude. Notice children, latitude like this. Or like this, like this, the latitude passes through the middle of India. It's related to a crab looking structure. Cancer, 23 and a half degree north, tropic of Cancer. And which is the longitude if I ask you all? It's 82 and a half degree east longitude. The newly formed state of India is, starts with the alphabet T. Telangana, you all got it right. Students, now we finish with the fill in the blanks. Now let's begin with question and answers. 
give the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of India. We discussed this in the first part of the chapter. The mainland of India extends from 8 degrees 4 minutes to 37 degrees 6 minutes north latitude and from 68 degrees 7 minutes to 97 degrees 25 minutes east longitude. These are very important figures. You have to practice and learn them. Next question. Which is the southernmost point of India? Do you all know? Tell me in which state is it? Is it in a state or in a union territory? You got it right. It's in Andaman and Nicobar. It's called the Indira Point. It's the southernmost point of India. It is located in the Nicobar Island at 6 degrees 45 minutes north latitude. Next. Name India's neighboring countries situated in the north west. Guess, guess. Yes, you're right. It's Pakistan and Afghanistan. Next, which are the neighboring countries of India? When you answer this question, it's always good if you go as per the direction. First, in the northwest, we have Pakistan and Afghanistan. Next, we go to north where we have Nepal, Bhutan and China. Finally, let's come to the east where we have Myanmar and Bangladesh. Finally, let's come to the south. In the southeast, we have Sri Lanka. How is Sri Lanka separated from India? By the Park Strait and Gulf of Manar. Next question. Write the location of India in the Asian continent. Geographically, India is located in which hemisphere? Northern hemisphere and is at the center of the eastern hemisphere. It is a peninsula which is situated in the southeast Asia. Next question, write the, a note on the extent of India in the globe. India is the seventh largest country in the world. What are the countries larger than India? We already discussed. India has a total area of 32,87,263 square kilometers. The east to west, the east to west extent of India is over 2,933 kilometers and from north to south the extent is 3,214 kilometers. It accounts for only 2.42% of the world's total area. Next question. Write a short note on the frontiers. Frontiers means borders of India. The land frontier of the country is how long? 15,200 kilometers. The Himalayan ranges form a natural frontier in the north. Between which country and which country? India and China. So this is about the land frontier. The total length of India's coastline including the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the Lakshwadweep Islands is 7,516.5 kilometers. We have the Arabian Sea in the west, Indian Ocean in the south and the Bay of Bengal in the east that form the water frontiers. Next, which are the three boundary lines of India of neighboring countries? You all remember, right? The Ratcliffe, the Manmohan and the Durand line. So the Ratcliffe line is the boundary line between India and Pakistan. The Durand line is the boundary line separating India from Afghanistan. Lastly, the McMohan line is the boundary line between India and China. Next question. Write the administrative divisions of India. This question is asking you how many states and union territories are there in India. So India is divided into 29 states and 7 union territories. At the moment, these numbers have changed, which include the national capital territory of Delhi. Among the states, which is the largest? Rajasthan. Which is the smallest? Goa. This brings us to the end of the chapter. Indian position and extension. From a lot of statistics, 
it is very important like there are too many numbers when it comes to latitude longitude they are very technical in nature you need to put just a little effort do some writing practice practice the quiz on the app i'm sure you will become perfect by the time you have exam all the best students see you soon for the next chapter bye